What's up everyone, Bass here. So a few roster moves just came out for the Green Bay Packers a few minutes ago, so quickly wanted to go over all of these. If you are a new viewer to this channel, please consider going down and clicking the subscribe button. I put out Packers news analysis and updates almost every single day, so if that does interest you, go down, hit the subscribe button, also leave a like on the video to support my channel. All right, so this news was just dropped by Tom Silverstein. It's all in one tweet, and it states, the Packers are putting defensive lineman Dean Lowry on injured reserve after he suffered an injury against the Dolphins. This means more playing time for rookie Devontae Wyatt, who was already seeing increased snaps. Packers also signed wide receiver Bo Melton off Seattle's practice squad and waived edge T. Penaliot. So first of which, Dean Lowry being placed on IR. I know a lot of people were clamoring for Devontae Wyatt to get more snaps to begin with, which I agree he's shown the ability to start on the defensive line. Dean Lowry, I think, is a good rotational defensive lineman. Uh, he had a really good season last year. He hasn't been too, too hot this year so far. He's had a 59.3 PFF grade. He's had 29 total tackles, 17 pressures, one sack, and 18 stops. So although it is unfortunate that the Packers won't have Dean Lowry as that rotational defensive lineman, I do believe in Devontae Wyatt. He has eight total tackles this year, six total pressures, one sack, and three stops. Now that's only in 158 total snaps, but as stated in that tweet, he's been getting more and more snaps as the weeks have gone by. Week 15, he had 20% of snaps, and it jumped all the way up last week to a 48% snap share. So I'm definitely super excited to see more Devontae Wyatt on this defensive line. Since the Packers drafted him in the first round, the 28th pick in the uh, last NFL draft, I was very excited. Um, he was one of the players I actually mocked to the Green Bay Packers a few times, and I thought they should definitely go after him. So I was really glad when I heard that name uh, called out during this year's draft. So I'm really hyped to see him get more and more snaps because I do believe he can be a starter caliber defensive lineman on this defensive line. And getting Kenny Clark help down low will help out the run game and the pass rush tremendously. As a second part of that tweet states, the Packers have also signed wide receiver Bo Melton off the Seattle Seahawks practice squad. I believe this is a corresponding move just in case if Keyshawn Nixon cannot play this week because Bo Melton uh, is pretty much a returner. They're not going to be using him as a wide receiver. Uh, Samora Torre would get snaps if that was the case. Bo Melton was drafted in the seventh round of the 2022 draft out of Rutgers University to the Seattle Seahawks. And this dude is definitely a really, really good returner. He runs a 4-3, 4 40. He's 5'11", 191 pounds. So if Keyshawn Nixon can't go, which it seems like he might be able to, this is definitely a good insurance to have. I'm glad the Packers are signing someone that, you know, looks like could maybe fill in for a week or two, whatever it may be. But Keyshawn Nixon has been so, so good this year. I'm really hoping he can play because he's been honestly a main part of the Packers success. I mean, how many times uh, in this little bit of a win streak the Packers have had where they had good field position or great field position even because of Keyshawn Nixon. This special teams has completely, you know, flipped 180 from what we saw last year and even the be to begin this year with Amari Rodgers at returner. So hopefully Keyshawn Sean Nixon comes back, but Bo Melton, I think, could be a good fill-in returner and even just a special teams gunner at that point as well. Now, Bo Melton doesn't have any regular season NFL snaps because the Seattle Seahawks actually waived him in August during cutdowns day and then signed him back to the practice squad. But as I said before, uh, this dude is definitely a top-tier quality returner, at least in regards to what the 2022 draft class had to offer. So, like I said, having him, it's a good insurance to have. Also today on the Pat McAfee Show, Aaron Rodgers did give a little bit of insight on Keyshawn Nixon's availability for the upcoming week saying, quote, I think he's going to try and play this week, end quote. And then finally, the last part, the Packers waving T. Penali. I, I really liked this guy. Um, I feel like he was a great rotational edge guy. I thought he was really good at containing the run on the outside, but, you know, going on IR this year, he just never returned. And the emergence of Kingsley and Igbari, who's been playing super well, and the Packers also signing Justin Hollins, who came right in and filled in as a rotational edge rusher, kind of what they were expecting from T. Penali all year, kind of made T. expendable. But I did really like him, so it's a shame that he had to deal with injury all year and he never really got onto the field. But that about does it for this video. Just a few quick roster moves the Packers made today. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like down below. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And as always, go Packers.